Hello guys, welcome back to another video. And yes, this title is not clickbait, it's another rant or story time whenever you see these stupid things. But my love, my love basically sucks. My life basically sucks. Always getting into fights. Nothing seems to be getting better for me. Life is always going downhill. Nothing makes me happy anymore. So probably after this video, I am going to be taking a... Need, quite needed... Break from YouTube. And all. But there is someone else that uses this account, so if you see him... Comment on videos, just know that's most likely not me because once this video goes up, I'm off of YouTube. So, where do I begin with this story? <clears throat> oh, yeah, lunch. So, I'm currently doing this poetry aloud unit, and I got it proved today that I could do a poem from Gabby's poem book. So, I'm searching through it, trying to make sure I stay quiet and calm. And they're getting loud, and I quietly say, can you guys please calm down? Or quiet. And they go, if you want us to, and one of them goes, if you want us to quiet down, move to another table then. And I go, don't give me attitude, I didn't give you any, so I don't deserve it. And now this girl is like one of those prisky little girls that thinks she's popular, but on the inside she knows she's not. She also knows she's really obnoxiously annoying. She's also a freshman. And so I go, it's like, I shouldn't have to move when I did, wasn't the one that gave you attitude originally. I just asked nicely. If anyone moves, it should be you. And I'm all butt hurt because of what she said to me. And not only that, I'm stressing about so much. I'm stressing about Ariana's mental health, how um, she's doing, she's on the physics. It's not like she's literally dying. So I'm stressing about that. Everyone at the table wants to say it's laughing about it, and I go, it's not something you should laugh about, it's serious, and shut the fuck up. Um. And Caleb goes something about Selena, and I, I'll butt her to go. Don't you just leave some things behind in your childhood? Then I started talking about Ariana Grande, and he showed his true self. And I go, because they were originally they were talking about how Young School sucked, and I go, at least you aren't the one that had their favorite singer concert ended in attack, so go there with your middle school second. And Caleb goes, let me guess, talk about Ariana Grande. And I go, duh. He goes like this. And I go, deal with it. I deal with your, um, your walking down obsession, you deal with my Ariana Grande one. So he basically showed him true self. And last time I made a video on him, I never posted it. In this video, I do plan on posting. So, I'm still trying to figure out a poem, because I'm trying to find the poem from Gabby Hanna's poem book that's in these 10 lines. Is school appropriate? Um, I'm trying to find a good poem. One that I can remember. You don't have to get to the book for Um. And I've been doing that for like a couple of days now.
Sorry, I'm just zoning out right now. So where was I? Oh yeah, um, and so yeah, I'm picking up trying to find a poem. I want like some sort of pissed off. And Caleb goes, are you less grumpy now? And I'm reading. I'm clearly reading something. And I don't answer him because I'm clearly reading something. And yes, Caleb better watch his video. And he know, and he will now know why I didn't answer him because I was clearly reading something. If you were, if you had your eyes open, you would have noticed I was reading something. But no, you were too determined to ask me a question when you when you could have seen that I was literally reading something. Didn't wait till I was done reading. You had to interrupt me, and that's why I didn't answer you because I didn't want to answer you because you interrupted my reading. And then I get more mad, so I walk over. Like the other table I used to sit at before himself with Caleb and his friends. Um, and I go, yeah, um, and I ain't going too well over there again. So I sit there for like five minutes, then I get thirsty. So I get a drink of water, go back, and everyone's like, welcome back. And I go, don't welcome back me. Next thing I know, the home goes, oh, I'm going to slit Ariana Grande and Gabby Hanna's throat. And I go, you want me to never talk to you? Do it. I dare you. You know what he goes? I will. He literally says, I will. So I'm all butthurt at this point. I storm off away from everyone. Get to my class as soon as possible. Be comforted by my friend that gave me a cookie. That's fine with that. Get to math class. It's hitting me harder now. I have tears in my eyes because of it. I text Caleb at the end of it. All mad still. It's like, if you kill Kony, no, if you kill Ari, Kony. Ari and Gabby, I'm going to kill Kony and Gabby. Which, there's two Gabbies. Gabby him and Gabby her. Oh. Gabby, his girlfriend, and Kony Ballinger. And um, then I go, then the one school day ends and I'm home and I go, I hope you know I wouldn't actually do that. One, I, one of them I love, and two, I wouldn't actually kill your girlfriend. And now he's just like avoiding me now. But when you say you're gonna slit the throat of someone I love desperately, and actually helped me through a lot in life, And you know I'm gonna flip out. Don't do it, dumbass. It's not that hard. You know I dealt with Ariana Grande hey, for my entire life. Or ever since sixth grade, I've told you. But no. The one person I wouldn't expect Ariana Grande hey, from, I get it from. And I never cried in school, but for some reason, I did. Too. I didn't even cry on May 23rd when I got to school. But for some reason, today, I did. I could not even focus in math because of me crying. If that proves a point to any of you guys that I care more about Ariana than anything, I don't know what will. But seriously, I'm sick of the Ariana Grande hate, especially for me, Caleb. You're the one person I thought that wouldn't do it. I have two best friends, and I both met them online. It was you and Maddie. There's also this girl named Katie. I just got about my online friends, but I don't talk to her much. She lives in my state. Um, I haven't talked to her much, though. I don't talk to her much, but still not around often. And so, um... And Maddie is also an over obsessed Ariana fan. And I hope you know, Caleb, if you do watch this video, I did tell Maddie that you said you're gonna slit Ariana Grande's throat. She's not thrilled with you either. Then not, then she also mentioned something about a fanfic with Gabby Hanna. I go, oh yeah, that reminds me. Also said that he's gonna slit Gabby Hanna's throat. And you know what she said to that? I wanna slit his throat. So, Caleb, be warned. Say any more shit about Ariana, and I'll tell Maddie on you. Because I also told your brother Nate. Because I've got to remember I'm friends with both of you.
But what did we learn, kids? Not to say you're gonna slit someone's throat. Even if it's a stranger's throat, don't slit people's throats, because it's not nice. That person could have a family. And fans. People that care about them. Especially don't do it a celebrity where you know one of your best friends is obsessed with her. There's a lot about her. Anyone, matter of fact. But I'm talking mainly about Ari and Gabby. No, I'm obsessed with both. You know, they both help me through a lot. And they're helping me through my life right now. And you have the audacity to say, oh, I'm gonna slit their throats when and when I didn't, wasn't even talking about them. I just was talking about how I'm picking a poem from Gabby Hanna's poem book. And then way before we sat down at the table, you said you're gonna throw my book in water. That's where my anger issues started with you. Don't ruin a book. Seriously. You have problems. You need them fixed. I have problems I'm working on fixing. You need to fix yours now. And with that being said, guys, I'm gonna leave here. See you guys whenever I get back on YouTube. Goodbye.